Okay guys, this is my uh, my fifth video on how to build a blog using Google App Engine and uh, you know, I'll jump right in without waste of time. So instead of just, you know, writing the content to the window like you d we did last in my fifth video or something, a fourth video, we want to store them in the database. So in order to store stuff in the database, we need to say from google.appengine.extension import db. So we are just importing the database uh, module here in order for us to access and use it. So after doing that though, we need to create a post model you need to create a post model that will simulate a post so what we are saying here is we create a class called post and inherit everything from db.model and then we give we create properties inside it so a property like a title every post needs a title and then the content and then uh, the time it was created so what we are saying here is if you read more on do the more documentations later you'll see what I mean and um, so a title is of type string and when we set required to true what we are saying here is you cannot store a post without a title and then the content is the same thing and then so when it comes to add date however what we are saying is auto add now is equal to true to mean that every post will be you know stored with the time it was created you know just automatically set from the system or by the system now after <coughs> after we're done creating the post model now we can now go ahead and use it to create posts so in order to do that we go to the handler that has our uh, our form so we have a, a form here you know I just created a new handler here maybe this might not look familiar but it's basically this handler here called new so if you visit this um, that handler slash new actually you will see um, you will see something like you know the form that I just showed you so inside that, that handle we create a post method the text self and then that post simply gets the subject if you click published right it gets the subject and then it also gets the content we did this earlier in uh, my previous video so and then now we create a post Okay, we instantiate a post and by doing that we just pass in what it expects from here the good thing is we don't need to pass in the add date because that happens automatically for us so we just say blog post is equals to post then we pass title is equals to subject in this case the subject that was uh, retrieved from our post our form and then the content is equals to content then we use uh, that post that we created with its method you know this is automatically given to you uh, from the database data store and you you get something called um, blog post dot put what we do here is simply put it into the database you know so we're just adding this blog post to the data store so that's it or well, that's all we needed and um, after that we can now go ahead and test this and I'll you know I'll show you how to use this redirect self redirect uh, and pass in whatever URL you want later on but now we are set to go and I'm going to show you that this actually works now before I do that if you are following me on this you might want to know that in order to access and check the data data store on your own you know the back end and see if there is data in there you use this admin port this is my admin port in this case is 8007 and the regular port is 11085 so we will go ahead and visit that 8007 after posting something so let's try it so let's say uh, post some testing data here demo uh, demo post and then we can say this is a demo this is a demo post for just Fun. Okay, if we click here now, we will not be redirected anywhere. We might see a blank page, but that's not a problem. What we want to know is if the data is actually in the data store. So I'm going to clear the, this uh, right now just to make sure that you know nothing happens that we didn't expect. So we click publish and we see an empty page here, which is fine. But now let's go ahead and check the database. Right now, before we refresh anything, this is empty. What about now? 
Oh, there it is. We have stored something finally. So we can click that and examine deeper and see, wow, this is really cool. And we can even say, um, this is more fun than I thought. Okay, and you can actually save it. And there it is. So you can add more and more and more. And that is the most important thing is to be able to notice that you actually can save stuff instead of just you know printing them on the pages so this is our blog blog uh, storage works and I hope that uh, from f you know here on we can move on to uh, more important stuff and we will see in the next video how to retrieve the, do the stored posts and display them on uh, on a web page or something like that so so that other people can actually see them so see you soon and hope you learn something thank you